The focus of this video is sewing on tapes using a sewing frame. However, I'm going to go over the preparation of the text block, starting with the folding of the sections, marking up the sewing locations, and pre-punching the holes. If you just want to see the sewing, uh, skip forward to the five minute mark. I'm using a heavier 110 GSM cartridge paper. I'm going to fold up 20 two sheet sections for this project. To make sure there's plenty of sewing, I'm going to mark up for sewing on four locations. So I'll mark the kettle stitch locations, divide by five to give four tape locations. As I usually do when pre-punching holes, I'll make a, a punching hole guide using manila card. I'll be using an early model Frank Wiesner sewing frame. His current model has a board behind the slot so you don't have to use a pressing board to put the text block on. This historical photo shows beautifully how to set up for sewing using a sewing frame. Put the head to the right, um, set up so that you're on the left side of the sewing frame, putting your left arm 
through to inside the sections and just pass the needle from your right hand to your left hand. There are two types of sewing keys, cord keys and tape keys, and obviously these are tape keys. Putting the text block up on a pressing board uh, makes it much easier to put the needle through the pre-punched holes. It's almost essential. This is the way I set up for sewing. I set up with the text block with the first section down uh, in place, then I flip it over so that I start sewing with the first section with the head to the right. I think this is a fairly standard approach to sewing using a sewing frame. I've seen it described in a number of textbooks and the historical photos seem to be consistent with this approach as well. I'm leaving sufficient thread to sew on an end paper later. Sewing on tapes is fairly straightforward. Uh, the knots I describe in another video, so I'm not going to describe kettle stitches or weaver's knots in this video. The main thing to focus on is keeping the tension even and not over tightening the kettle stitches to make rounding and backing easier and more successful.
Once you release the tapes from the sewing frame, there's one last thing to check, and that is that the tapes move freely and that you haven't sewn through the tapes. And that's the sewing job done.